Hi, welcome to Aaron's World Famous. On today's episode, we're going to be making braised short ribs. Here's the list of ingredients you'll need to make this recipe. Two and a half cups of your choice of red wine, four to eight cups of beef broth, one large onion, one to two bulbs of garlic, fresh chopped parsley, one cup of all-purpose flour, one six ounce can of tomato paste, one teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of salt for dredging. You'll also need more salt and pepper to taste, and approximately four pounds of beef short ribs. Once you've diced your onions and peeled your garlic, next you're going to dredge your short ribs with a little bit of flour. You're going to mix in your one teaspoon of black pepper and your one teaspoon of salt. Make sure to mix that around real good. Then you're going to take your short ribs one at a time, drop them in the flour mixture. Make sure to coat all sides with the flour mixture and not to miss any spots. Once your short rib is completely covered in the flour, you're gonna move it over to the next plate and start on your next one. This helps to get a nice slow crust when searing, and it also helps thicken the sauce. Once your oil is hot, you're going to take your short ribs and put them in to sear. You may have to do this in batches. You wanna get them a nice deep brown on each side. Check to see how your searings look. Once you start to get nice and brown on one side, make sure to flip over to another side. You want to sear on all edges of your short ribs. Once all sides of your short ribs have been seared and you get a nice brown golden crust like right here, you can remove them from the pan and start your next batch. Once you've completely seared all of your short ribs on all sides, remove them from your pot to sit aside. You don't need to put them far, they'll be going back in shortly. Next, you're going to add your onions. You're gonna saute these for a few moments until they're translucent and starting to get tender. You may need to add a little bit more oil in the bottom of your pan. Once you've sauteed your onions for about three to five minutes until they get translucent, you're going to want to add a little bit of salt and pepper just to taste. And then next, add your garlic. One bulb should be enough. However, my family really likes garlic, so I put in two full bulbs. After your garlic becomes fragrant, you're going to add your tomato paste. Stir it around. It's gonna start to melt a little bit in the pan, and then will also seem to stick. However, that creates a nice fond on the bottom. And that's where you get all your extra flavor from. Once your tomato paste is sauteed for a few minutes, you're going to deglaze your pan with the two and a half cups of wine. That'll end up equaling about a half a bottle. You may need to add it in stages just to make sure it gets all mixed thoroughly. Deglazing that pan will get the fond all off the bottom of the pan, all the stuck parts, and that's where all the flavor comes from. With your wine all incorporated, you're going to add your dry Italian seasoning, and then you're going to add your four cups of beef broth. Make sure to pour in slowly. Now you're gonna to wanna to taste for salt and pepper. You could use a little bit more salt and pepper in here, and then also add a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. Stir that together. And now you're going to add your short ribs back in very carefully. Place your short ribs back in the pot so you don't get hit with hot liquid. As you're placing them in, make sure to kind of nestle them towards the bottom so every single short rib gets covered with the braising liquid. If they're not completely covered, you can always add a little bit more beef broth during this stage. Next, you're going to cover them and put them in your oven at 375 for three hours. After being in the oven for three hours, this is what you get nice, hot, tender, braised beef short ribs. After letting your short ribs cool for a few moments, go ahead and take a slotted spoon and pull out all of your short ribs. And also pull out your garlic cloves as well. Look how tender the bone's just falling right out of that one. And 
then once you've pulled out all of your short ribs, you're gonna let the sauce sit so you can skim the fat off of the top. So you'll get a nice rich sauce. You can let your sauce sit and you'll see the fat layer rise to the top. There's a little tiny layer you can skim off. Or if you happen to have a fat separator at home, you can just ladle your sauce into there and it'll separate the fat for you. And it'll also help you collect the little garlic cloves that are still left floating in the sauce. Now once you've let your sauce settle and you've separated the fat, it's time to plate. I'm plating mine over some truffle Parmesan risotto. If you'd like the recipe for that, please post it in the comments. Place a couple of short ribs right on top. Be careful when you're transferring them because they are very tender and they just tend to fall apart. But you can see just how tender the meat is. It's, it's just coming right apart, nice and tender. And then you're gonna spoon a little bit of extra sauce on top, however much you prefer. And then you're gonna take a little bit of your chopped parsley from earlier and just add a little color. And there you have it, braised beef short ribs. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment on what you may like to see me cook next. Until then, we'll see you next time.